Well here I am at Gold and I'm going to show you today a method that I devised during a Super League final practice week. It's a method that enables you to fish worms at long distance on the feeder and also on the pole. But the advantage it gives you is that where barbless hooks are compulsory, the worm's not going to come off. And today I'm going to show you how I hair rig worms. It's a method that I devised during, like I say, a practice for a Super League final. We were fishing at Barston Lakes in Birmingham and you were leaving your feeder out there for anything up to half an hour. And sometimes you'd reel in barbless hooks and you had no bait on. Obviously it's a big match, high profile, and you don't want to be wasting any time. And I came up with a method of actually hair rigging the worm. Now this gives you two advantages. One, where barbless hooks are compulsory, the bait's not going to come off. You can leave it out there for an hour or two. And even if you're catching a lot of fish, you can catch three or four fish on one piece of worm. So it really is very good. And two, it's not going to go over the hook. The amount of fish that are lost on worms, and you come in and your worm's actually over the point of the hook, and this is the reason why. With the hair rigging, this just doesn't happen. So it really is a very efficient way of fishing a bait that isn't always easy to fish and you do catch a lot of fish on worms. It's a bit of a forgotten bait on commercials but hopefully today you'll see just how many bream and carp you can actually put together not only using this method but using this forgotten bait.